All right, Lisa, I'm starting your two minutes now. Good afternoon, and thank you for hosting this event. My name is Lisa Neal Delgado, and I'm running for state representative in Senate District 59B. I'm a lifelong Northsider. I received my primary and secondary education right here on the North Side. While I've attended various colleges throughout the country and around the world, I'm a proud alumni of Virginia State University, where I graduated magnum cum laude with a degree in history and political science. Unlike, claim, unlike claims of some here, I've received, I've been active in my community in one or more capacity for decades. I'm a mother, a grandmother, a sister, a niece, an aunt, a cousin, and a friend. I'm a community member in one of the most underserved communities in the state. I am a soldier who served this country for almost 23 years. So most days I'm a proud military veteran too. Some call me a community activist, but in reality, I feel more like a social firefighter trying to hold my community together. Some days I'm a combat medic. Other days I'm a counselor trying to help those in need. Many in the DFL call me uncontrollable or unpredictable because my loyalty, my only loyalty is to my community and the people living in this district and across the state. I'm not seeking political office to represent interest groups that continue to prey upon under, underserved communities of color. I am and have always been personally invested in this community um, because I have family and friends that have lived here for decades. I don't, I didn't move here to run for political office like many other politicians. I know the history of the district and its people who continue to be left out of the great American dream. My pledge is to always fight for them. I was born to serve, but I was trained to lead. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Esther, I'm starting your two minutes now. Thank you so much, Elijah. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Esther Egbaje, and I'm also running to be the next state representative for House District 59B. As mentioned earlier, this district covers parts of the north side as well as all of downtown Minneapolis. And I am the DFL candidate for this seat. I wanna thank Elijah today again for hosting this forum. I started this campaign about a year ago this month with the goal of building the most inclusive district in this state. As a way of background, I grew up in St. Paul and my family spent some time in Brainerd and in Faribault. I then went out east for uh, my college and my first career with the US Department of State and then for law school. Now I practice medical malpractice on the plaintiff side with a firm in Minneapolis. I also volunteer with the Volunteer Lawyers Network on housing issues and with local environmental justice organizations across the city. Part of why I decided to run was to ensure that our decision makers were putting the needs of people first, that we were providing people with their basic necessities like housing, education, and access to a clean environment. Those things are crucial for the health and wellness of our community, from individual health care to public safety. It is important that we have leadership that wants to help us in these endeavors rather than hinder us. One of the tools that people can make that people can use to make a difference in their government is to vote. And that is why this election year is so important. So I look forward to this, this discussion as a way to help voters make a decision to get to know candidates running in their communities. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. Now we're moving on to Alan. Um, thank you, Elijah, and thank you, Lisa, for your service, including within the last 20 hours. Appreciate it. Um, I'm Alan Shalepsky, and uh, and I've been trained as a physicist and as a public policy analyst, and I've worked for the U.S. EPA and GAO and for the Minnesota State Planning Agency. As a small business owner, I've developed databases for businesses and I've created jobs. I lived in downtown Minneapolis for 40 years and was a co-founder of the Downtown Neighborhood Association, head of my 500 unit condo, served on the board of an affordable housing provider, tutored at the juvenile detention center, I've election judged, and I've cooked for homeless youth. 
I also co-chaired a police community relations council for the fourth precinct and wrote most of their report. I've been a Democrat, a reformer, and for the last 18 years, a Republican. I worry that many naive idealists are throwing away our precious legacy of self-government, government by the people, instead of by bureaucrats, experts, and consultants. They've been undermining our legacy of freedom of expression and free enterprise, equal protection and due process of law, and our universalist goal of e pluribus unum. Is our country perfect? Of course not. But until we took a wrong turn about 50 years ago, we were on the track of continually expand the we in we the people. We should get back on track. We should enhance our good aspects and we should appreciate more what we have. Remember, people have died trying to come here. What did they know that we seem to have forgotten? Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Esther.